Aquarius, how's everybody doing? When I was meditating on the energy, I was hearing hope is the thing with feathers. This is a poem. For some of you, there may be something that you're reading, something that you're reviewing, looking back on. Um, I was also hearing the name Sydney, which reminds me of Scream. Maybe some of you guys are watching movies, stuff like that. I was also seeing these like white or pale or ivory or cream colored bed sheets that was coming through also and I was also seeing the golden ratio there may be something artistically that you're working on before we get into it let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Starting with the Magician. For some of you, there's something that you're focused on manifesting. The Magician is also a very creative energy as well. It could be creating something. Designing something, writing something. Um, there may be something that you are getting reconnected with, like it could have been an interest of yours or something that you liked doing that you are re-familiarizing yourself with. I'm hearing push it forward. Okay, so I'm seeing you doing something. It even looks like something that you're initiating, something that you're engaging in, and things are running smoothly, and then you may hit a little bit of a, I'm hearing pit stop. I'm looking at the Magician, the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, like something may slow down a bit for you. It's like, maybe you have to be patient with something. I'm hearing to see where it goes. This may be something that's going to take some time to happen. It's like even something that you may be starting from scratch with. And so it's going to take a little bit of time to see, see a result. This guy's shirt is reminding me of Frankenstein, but I was also hearing jack-o'-lantern. I'm seeing something that you're, something that you're getting creative with. This feels even like finding a personal style. Maybe something that you're developing, something that you're cultivating. hearing leaflet It looks like you're being called in a particular direction. It 
there may be, there may have been something that you were doing and it got put on pause and you may be returning to this eventually, but it's something that for now you're going to be walking away from. Like, you may feel like the timing is off with this, but yeah, it could have been something that you were creating. Um, I'm hearing also collage, collaging, that was also coming through before we turn the camera on. Um, so yeah, maybe something just creatively that you, that you had been doing. I'm also getting something with music too now. So I'm seeing that you walked away from something like maybe because you weren't seeing a result from it and you feel like your attention is needed elsewhere. I'm looking at Mercury, Libra, and Taurus. I'm also hearing liability. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there could be something else that you're chasing after, actually, with Neptune. I get the feeling of, like, even chasing some sort of dream. With the Queen of Wands, I'm getting an energy where, like, somebody could have... Maybe this wasn't your decision. Somebody may have had an influence on something where they paused something that you were doing. Like, maybe you were collaborating with somebody and, like, you were ready to continue going with something. But because of this person, things had to be put on pause. And you may have walked away from something entirely. maybe felt like it was the right timing for you. It seems like there's something that you're going to realize within the process. I am looking at some sort of partnership here. So yeah, it can be friendship or relationship, business partnership, um, but you could have been mutually like manifesting or creating something with someone and maybe you felt like you were kind of left on your own to do something. I'm hearing where's the teamwork in that. So it may be something that you decided to kind of go down a new route with. There's something being addressed here about like expectations, compensation for some of you. Like you may even be sizing something up and be like, is this worth it to me to keep going with this? Is it something that I want to do? Like maybe you have room now to assess something or like you have information that you can work with that you didn't have before. And you could even be considering going solo with something it's like do I need that partnership to do that can I do this on my own and you may feel like you have what you need to do something by yourself like you're creative enough or you have the tools or the experience and you don't need to be working with this other person I'm seeing something about a castle here For some of you too, whatever this was that you were working on, there may have been some sort of conflict, conflict of interest even. Like maybe even something having to do with your values within a scenario with someone. Like maybe somebody wasn't upholding something that you had agreed upon or you didn't like how something was going down and you felt like that was a 
sign for you to move away from something. It may still be something that you're processing, though, with the hanged man. Like, maybe you don't have the full picture yet of what's going on. Or, like, why you were being guided away from a situation. It seems like it's related to, like, you and this person that you've been teaming up with. Like, it could have even been something where it's like, maybe we'll work really well together. Maybe we won't. I don't know what it's going to be like. And it seems like now you're gaining some sort of information that you didn't have before so you can assess this. And now all that's left to do is make a decision about it. It's like, do you want to go on with this or do you not want to? I feel again like this is related to a partnership, somebody that you've been teaming up with in some way. Do you feel like you're getting what you want or what you need from this? Do you feel like you guys share the same values? Because that may also be something that came up. It's like, it even looks like things got real with this person. And you may have been waiting to see if something would pan out. What it looks like to me is that this is an opportunity where you may... Maybe you preferred initially to be paired up or working with someone and you may be going solo with something and really discover that you're great at something or that this is going to benefit you more to do it solo. Like it could have been a skill that before you may not have necessarily tapped into or not explored fully and now you're getting the opportunity to do that. And this may even be something that you're taking a chance on. It looks like the decision has not been finalized yet, though. But if you're confident in yourself and your solo abilities, I don't think that you're going to stick around for this. It just seems like it's about like how much you believe you're able to do within this situation and like if you really need this person with you. Um, Mercury... Libra, Taurus, Neptune, Gemini. Yeah, it's like, how much is an asset? How much of an asset is this person? What are you going to do with the collaboration? I'm seeing something that, for some reason, it's such a such a difficult decision. It's like we have the Two of Wands over here, and then it's like you're reflecting on this again. You're thinking about it, sizing it up. Then we have the Two of Pentacles again. It's like going back and forth and back and forth. Why all the hesitance to make this decision? Maybe part of you doesn't feel ready to do something alone. Yet. You may still be looking for a bit of like guidance or direction. Whatever information or clarity this is, I'm seeing that you're going to be getting it. Like, it seems even like it comes through at a point where you're like, I really do not know which way to go with this. I don't know what choice to make. I don't know which decision I want to commit to. And then I'm seeing something come through and make it a whole lot easier for you to make this choice. Um, but this could be something that's happening kind of at the last minute. 
like maybe this is that one time where procrastinating actually benefits you. There could even be like new new rules that you're breaking down. Like maybe you want to redesign something, even having to do with your relationship with this person. Because I'm seeing something that almost doesn't look like fun and games anymore. And you may be getting more serious or like maybe something has happened where you're like, I really need to have um, more firm boundaries because something could have been... Um, yeah, going on where that became necessary for you. Maybe it was something that you didn't want to have to do before, but now it's needed. I am seeing the tower. It seems to me like this is going to benefit you. Like there's some sort of reform or undoing that is going to help you rebuild. It's like destruction comes before construction. Deconstruction. So you may be taking something apart to build it back up in a way that you like because maybe something was turning out in a way that you're like, it's better for me to just like start over or to like take this apart now before we go any further with this. I'm seeing you like even anticipate something. It seems like something that you you realize that you need to do, even something related to your communication or how something that you need to communicate is going to affect like this other person or these other people and I'm seeing something that you kind of expect to like implode or fall apart but it's almost like you were planning for this the other people involved may be a bit blindsided though it's kind of like I'm seeing you be again aware that this was going to happen And if you weren't, now you are. But yeah, there could have been signs that this was... It was going in this direction. I'm hearing plan to reach out. For some of you too, um, somebody's coming through and inviting you to something or they're trying to get you to participate in it. They're trying to connect with you in some sort of way, but I'm not seeing you be particularly open to this. I'm seeing you be quite cautious. I'm seeing something that you're looking very closely at. It seems like you know where you stand, but something may not have been communicated yet, but you're planning for that. But because of the way that this is going to like impact the dynamic or something that's been going on, you may have, that may be the reason why you didn't do this yet. It's like, you know, once this is said or communicated that things are going to shift or change. So it's going to like switch up the plan and then more planning is needed and all of that. I'm hearing something about an exit strategy. So I'm seeing a plan being made. I'm seeing some sort of communication or message. Could even be something going back and forth.
Yeah, this even turns everything on its head with the death card. Whatever this switch up or change up is that's happening, I don't think the other people involved expected this from you. But I'm seeing you feel like it's necessary, a necessary change. It even seems like a way that's different that you are interacting with this person or this group of people. It's like maybe something had been more casual before and you feel like you can't be like that. So I'm seeing there be like a collaboration or a hangout, like a gathering of people, some sort of coming together. I'm seeing there be communication about this and I'm seeing you be like, I don't know what choice I want to make. Um, but it's something that you may feel the need to protect yourself with. It even looks like you're embracing some sort of change that you feel you're being guided into. Something even about um, the current changing. I'm seeing you right next to Mars here. It's like something happens and you don't know how you feel about it, but then you do. But maybe because this was surprising, it kind of caught you off guard. This is feeling a bit like the last Aquarian reading. Maybe there's a thread here. Yeah, I'm seeing you be unsure about how you feel about something. But then whether this was like you taking time or you kind of like trying to see things, whatever it is that you did to re regroup or whatever information it was that you needed, I'm seeing you receiving that and I'm seeing you make a plan um, that you are ready to carry out. So I'm looking at Aquarius, Mars, Scorpio. Yeah, even like a conversation that you're ready to have. You may be saying that you're taking a break from something or that you need to disconnect from it. Or you need time away. I'm even seeing something where it's like you send out a message or an email or communicate what it is that you need to communicate and then it's like you shut your computer off or you put your phone on do not disturb. Mm. I'm getting the feeling like you needed to say something but Maybe you didn't feel completely comfortable doing this, but you kind of knew that you had to. You felt that you had to. Like, I'm seeing there be some sort of tension connected with the communication. Like, the King of Swords kind of seems like... He's, like, gripping the chair very, very tightly. I'm seeing a conversation be like unpleasant or overwhelming. It may be something that you feel like you're exerting a lot to do this. Maybe something got very complicated. I'm seeing it also be about like setting boundaries and stuff like this. It's like maybe this isn't the way that you prefer to communicate, but because of how things have gone down, it became necessary for you. And I'm seeing you also be in a place where it's like, you like to keep things diplomatic and maybe also parsimonious. And it's like, I didn't want to have to say all that. But again, you feel it's necessary for the situation. So as maybe to dissolve some of the stress that you're feeling. 
I get the feeling too, like, maybe you feel like you're kind of on your own to do this. Like, you feel like something's kind of all weighing on you now. Like, it's very much become your responsibility. This could have been causing tension or stress within a close relationship that you have, too. It does look like there's a sense of relief after this happens, though. Like, after whatever conversation this is that happens, or whatever it is that needs to be said, it seems like you kind of move through this. Like, we're going from the Ten of Wands to the Four of Wands to the Three of Wands. It's like something is dissipating here. I'm hearing colloquial. Looks like this was a karmic test for you. Maybe the thing is, too, that, like, you don't prefer to be as direct as you were required to be within this situation, so that could be uncomfortable as well. Because I'm feeling this sort of Libran energy where it's like trying to see things from both sides and like be fair and all of that and maybe you have to get a little bit stern with somebody. And it's like maybe you prefer to keep things kind of light but the situation called for something else from you. Yeah, there's even something about, like, maybe delivering news that you didn't want to deliver. I'm feeling like somebody's going to be affected by something that you're telling them. And feel maybe like this is going to impact... Um, a close relationship or your home life or like something that you had been working towards or building towards like some sort of established connection it seems like this is an opportunity to heal though maybe address something that needed to be addressed so you can kind of get over the hump of whatever this is it's like this opportunity is directly connected with the three of swords but it's like as soon as that thing is over i'm seeing you feel connected again like maybe in a way that you hadn't been before so you feel like you can like start again because something could have been paused until all of this was addressed i'm also hearing directed It could have even been something that you feel like the joy got sucked out of whatever this was that you were doing because of like the tone, the turn that this took. But I'm seeing you work on something that you feel happy about. It's so, like even though you feel hurt by this situation, I'm seeing you also be connected with the Ten of Cups here. So there's like a wide range of things that you're feeling. I'm seeing you feel good about something that you're doing here, something that you're taking further. This may be something that you already took steps in this direction and now you're getting more serious with it. Like it looks like something you're concentrating a lot on, something that you're giving a lot of energy to, something that you're spending time doing. Seeing it be worth it because the hope is that this is going to expand. So it may be something that, like, it takes a lot out of you right now. Maybe even needing to be, like, really disciplined with this thing that you're doing. But I'm seeing there also be passion involved in this.
really working to be consistent and not get distracted from this thing that you're focusing on. Like, there could even be something that you're cutting off so you don't get distracted. It's like you don't even want to be tempted to kind of fall off, so... I'm seeing you get, like, really quiet with something, or you're getting private with it, or it's like you're not connecting with other people as much. It's just something that you feel like you put the blinders on, you're very focused here. So I'm seeing you make a decision. So you decide on something. It's about the path that you're going to be going down. It's something that you're committing to, something that you're investing in. I'm seeing there's also something that's happening, like simultaneously it seems, that's stressing you out. Something that stressed you out on the emotional front because of how somebody was coming through. And maybe you hoped that somebody was more, could have been more mature when they handled the situation and that's not what was happening. So things got quite complicated. I'm seeing something that affected a relationship, even like the quality, your feelings surrounding, surrounding the relationship. But I'm seeing you not want it to distract you from the progress that you're making and I'm seeing you also not want it to impact this direction that you're going in or this project that you're working on can be even something related to like a new job or a creative endeavor I'm seeing something that like you've been kind of private with something about like a journey that you're pursuing it's seeing like people around you not necessarily know about this it feels like private business but maybe you also feel relieved in a way that this situation happened how it did because maybe if this relationship had continued without this event occurring like you may have told like this person or these people what it is that you're keeping private right now and maybe that would have been something that you looked back on and would have regretted so maybe it allowed you to kind of like keep something to yourself that you're happy about that other people don't know as far as what you're currently involved with Seeing you also working to not be reactive to something like they're however this person showed up it looks like it could have been potentially triggering and I'm seeing something that you're like you know what I need to think about this before I respond to this person yeah this really is reminding me of the Aquarian reading we just did like maybe you don't want to show this person how you feel affected by their behavior it's like maybe you don't want to give them the satisfaction of thinking that they're affecting you or detracting from something that you're working on There it is, the ending. I'm looking at Virgo in this spread. Mm, you saw this coming. I get the feeling that you sensed this before it happened. But it's now given you, I'm hearing expiration, it's given you the opportunity to 
reflect and move away from this situation. It's like, now that things are finally completed, you can really make space, create distance from this. I'm seeing there also be an opportunity that you know about that maybe other people don't know about. Like, it even seems like something is benefiting you because you kept quiet about something. It's like, maybe you didn't make a big deal out of something, and if you had, it would have, like, deterred an opportunity that's now being presented to you. Like, I'm even seeing you get a break emotionally from something. I'm hearing that wasn't right. Ooh. Okay, so... For some of you, this situation allowed you to see somebody's true colors. For others of you also, I'm seeing that you may have known that somebody was, like, trying to take advantage of you in some sort of way. Like, I'm even seeing somebody kind of play on your emotions. I don't think that you necessarily address this. Like, this is something that you may have, like, they don't know that you know. With the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords here, I'm seeing, like, somebody may have thought that they got away with something, and they may still think that because you didn't call it out. And I'm seeing something that you're like, you know what, rather than engaging, I'm going to separate emotionally and maybe that's what this ending gave you the opportunity to do it's like something that emotionally gives you peace of mind now because yeah you could have even felt like somebody was taking advantage of what you were offering like maybe you offer a certain type of like skill or service or something like that And you feel like something unkosher was happening and would have continued to happen if this ending had not taken place. Seeing this be a lesson to you. You're completing a cycle now. Yeah, if you would have fed into this further, it seems like it's something that would have been prolonged. And it looks like now, because you are separating in the way that you are, I'm hearing going your separate ways, it's giving you the time to like bounce back and compose yourself rather than feeding into this. Because I'm even seeing somebody that it's like, you know better than to give into this behavior of theirs. It's so like something that, like, maybe they're not even self-aware about how obvious something was, but I'm seeing you be very in touch and very in tune, and also at a point where you're like, it's not my job to correct this person or to call this out, like, they just need to deal with what it is that they're dealing with, and also deal with the repercussions of that, because it's not your responsibility. But yeah, I am seeing, like, a, a connection that you had that is now over. But yeah, for some reason, I get the feeling like this person could have done something that, again, they're not aware of you knowing, but you do know. Like, this could have been something that they did behind your back or something like that. But it gave you the opportunity to really show yourself what you are capable of as far as like regulating 
your emotions and like really thinking before you respond to situations, especially something that um, could have really upset you because this could have been somebody that you trusted and you found out that you couldn't. But I'm getting like they don't know that you know. Whatever it is that they did that was sneaky, they don't know that you know, but you do. I'm seeing something that definitely has left a sour taste in your mouth. And I'm seeing you also be done with this, so it's like you don't want to prolong this anymore by rehashing this with them. So I'm seeing you just leave it as it is. And this is like a full circle moment with this person or these people. I'm seeing the moon. I'm seeing Saturn. Yeah, your pride could have even been hurt by something. I'm seeing you feel really disappointed or like let down by the way that things happened. But I'm getting like you really saw this person's character. It feels like karmically something that was bound to happen. It was just about the timing. But yeah, you get out now. And it looks like something better is coming along anyway. Like I'm seeing something that you're going to feel like really connected with and empowered by. This can be something that you really um, feel like you get to express yourself with. Maybe something that you're going to be like creating or participating in that you feel good about. You get to explore like your creativity with this. Yeah, there may be the opportunity to get, like, even independent with something that you're doing. For some of you, too, like, you're even creating a new sort of team because this thing has fallen apart. So you may be, like, gathering people to work on something that you're doing. But I'm seeing you kind of be in charge of this. This may be something that's tapping into Leo energy within your chart. Okay. We are going to leave the reading here, my friends. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.